revealed from the Robert Burns Birthplace Museum, and I'm going to show you how to organise a burn zipper. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to organise your own burn supper. Burn supper is traditionally held on the 25th of January to celebrate Scotland's national poet, Robert Burns. There's a few key things you'll need to organise your own burn supper. You'll need some of Burns' well-known songs and poems. You'll need some haggis, which forms part of the traditional meal of haggis, neeps and tatties. Um, neeps is turnips and tatties, of course, is mashed potato. And you'll also need some whiskey for doing the toasts and having a wee dram. Before eating, we say the Selkirk Grace, which is a short poem by Robert Burns. Some hae meat and can eat, and some hae meat that want it. But we hae meat and we can eat, and say the Lord be thank it. After welcoming all your guests to your burn supper, the haggis will be brought in accompanied by a piper. This is called piping the haggis. Once it's brought in, we have the first poem of the evening called Addressed to a Haggis. This was written by Robert Burns about one of his favourite foods and how lovely and delicious and tasty it was. Next comes the toast to the lassies. This is said by one of the men in celebration of the women present at the dinner. Robert Burns wrote a number of poems about the women in his life. Then the women get a chance to respond with their own toast. This has often got a number of jokes in it. And of course, no toast is complete without a wee dram of whiskey. The proceedings are brought to a close with Burns' best known song, Auld Lang Syne. So that's the key ingredients for having a good Burns supper. Enjoy your night. Cheers. <laughs>